So I'm Mark Howard, I'm a professor of government and law at Georgetown University. And I also volunteer and teach uh, as a visiting professor at Jessup Correctional Institution, part of the Jessup Scholars Program. It's not that there's a lack of information uh, about the prison system. It's rather that there's so much information that people aren't putting everything together properly. Every day goes by, there's a news story on a wrongful conviction case that was corrected 20 years later. Five men who were wrongly convicted. Or on police brutality. His mentally disabled son was beaten and pepper sprayed by a sheriff's deputy. On prosecutorial excess. Who told one of the jurors the victim recanted his allegation and he explained to the juror that he had left that count in to see what the jury would do with it. On the completely irrational and failed war on drugs. 22 high school students were arrested in Temecula, California. On egregious long sentences for nonviolent offenders. That their loved one could spend the rest of his life behind bars for allegedly stealing donuts. On completely inhumane living conditions within prison. Chaos reigned inside the Cumberland County facility for three days. On the blatant racial discrimination that takes place at every stage of the criminal justice system. Two African-American half-brothers who have been exonerated. Of the damaging effects of solitary confinement. Inmates say months without real human contact makes them paranoid, angry and depressed, even sparking attacks on guards or self-injury with smuggled razors. The prevalence of prison rape and violence. Two Hawaii inmates have died at Saguaro Prison in Arizona in less than four months. Uh, of the outrageous cost of the prison industrial complex, as it's called. The prison proposal would cost at least $100 million during the next three years. So every day goes by, and there's some story, some news uh, event about this situation. But for some reason, when people read them, they view them as isolated events. And so what I'd like for people to do is to actually connect the dots, to not view these in isolation, but to start adding them up, and to start to realize that actually our criminal justice system has failed us, and that it's become a hollow shell of what were once lofty ideals, fairness, equal justice, the right to a trial, or the possibility of paying one's debt to society and then being restored as a full citizen. And what I'd like people to take away from this project that we're all involved in is that the criminal justice and prison systems have become hollow shells of what they should be, and they're in desperate need of reform.